Yeah, it was. Um, I mean, obviously you get to see all 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 uh, eleven guys on both sides of the ball and their their assignments, and I thought um, really good competition. I was really pleased with the way our guys played. We had some um, easy shots, especially on the quarterbacks, and our guys laid off. And it was basically the NFL sack, you know. So uh, that was nice that our guys were mindful of each other. But um, you know, I, I was I was really happy with the way the guys played. And um, yeah, we held some guys out, but. A lot of the guys got some work, and they got about 25 plays of even thud work. And um, but uh, offense did well. Defense had some really good things too. And um, you know, it's easy to say that we, if we would have played certain guys, the defense would have done better. But uh, these guys are only one play away from being in the game. So um, we saw a lot of missed tackles, and that happens, but not as much as I thought after the game. You know what I mean? I think uh, it's hard to tackle guys in space, and then uh, but I, I like the other 11 guys getting there when the guy missed. So. Um, had a few big plays, but not not anything too crazy that we can't fix on defense. And I thought I, I really liked what I saw. You called Jaron the leader of the quarterbacks earlier on. Mm-hmm. Did his performance kind of solidify his spot? Um, yeah, and it's just not just that one. Um, thing. I mean, he's been doing that all all spring, and um, yeah, he's he's about a year from being back from his mission, so his legs are free, feeling fresh. And I was glad to see him running around today and. That's a huge uh, weapon that he has, and we're going to be uh, able to use it, you know, and, and have him um, use his legs to extend plays and, and use that, his athleticism in space. So I, I also like the way he threw the ball. I thought he was pretty efficient. Um, yeah, and so I, I really like the way he threw it. Overall, I think he played really well. I think it's going to be um, really interesting when we get to the fall. What do, you want to see? Oh, sorry. what do you want to see out of your players this last week of, of camp? Um, I kind of said on Saturday, you know, we want to keep using these practices to get better. And I think um, uh, that's why I like doing these three after the scrimmage. We can see the film and, and get, get some corrections made. And then guys can really see um, the things that they can work on in the next three practices, uh, whether it's technique, fundamentals, assignment, you know, learning their assignments. And um, we we'll are able to do 11 on 11. I, I think we'll probably do some live stuff on Thursday. Um, just because you know, I think it'd be good for, good way to end it. And there's some guys, that, younger guys, that need more tackling and see how much they can improve from from Saturday till Thursday. But uh, other than that, I think um, yeah, they're doing exactly what we want. We want to see this springboard them into the off season and, and be able to uh, use it going into the PRPs and have our players run run those practices the way that we did spring ball. Do you feel like the defense came out today maybe a little chip after giving up, what, six touchdowns and, like, 500 yards or whatever? Because those guys are prideful, and, you know, they don't, want, they don't, want, don't want to be have, give up that type of stuff, even though they did do yeah. some good things. Yeah, it was mostly guys like Kyrus and Diane and the guys that didn't get to play, you know, that were kind of frustrated, and Isaiah and Austin, all those guys that felt like they weren't represented well with the defense. But, um, like I said, the, a lot of these guys are one play away from being on the field. And obviously, you know, we, we need more depth. We need to get the quality needs to get better, and those guys need to be ready to play. And in order to, to get them ready, they have to have this opportunity to play live reps and and even get embarrassed at times, you know. I'd rather do it now than, than in August and September. So uh, we're working on that, and, and, and that's why I think we're, we need to go a little bit live on Thursday just to get uh, some of these young guys uh, another chance to, to redeem themselves from what happened on Saturday. Kavitha Fanu is kind of a survivor. What keeps him going after all these injuries? Um, I think he's just the way he's raised, you know. that He just really wants to be on that field. He loves his team, loves his university, and um, I'm excited to see him perform. You know, I just, um, he's had some live work, and he's been, uh, he's been, you know, he's been, uh, I think he's had tons of playing time, so it's not like we need him to see how he, he can perform when things are live, but I think just getting in the mix of things and being around the team and Getting that camaraderie with the group is going to, is really important for him, and that's why we're utilizing all the time that we can to to get guys like Kavika and others in tune with this team. Has it been a pretty healthy spring overall? Yeah, I mean we've had a few injuries here and there, and, and we'll have to deal with that. But I, I don't know if it's um, I, I don't know. I, I, we have to still evaluate some things. We got some MRIs done, but um, this is the best way to get get them ready. And it's unfortunate football is a, is a physical and violent sport, and Sometimes injuries happen, and we're trying to minimize as many injuries as possible with the weight room and the way we condition these guys. But um, when you have 22 guys out there on the field hitting each other, you know, with refs in the way once in a while, then, then it, bad things can happen. But I think for the most part, coaches and, and the players are really smart with the way they practice together. And I think I think we try to keep it to as minimal as much as possible. This didn't come out of it okay after. 
Yeah, I think he's going to be okay. I, uh, from what we know, it's no surgery required, so he's going to be okay. And I think all the injuries that we had, there, no one needs to have surgery. So that's a that's a positive, right? And yeah, we got to. That's what we prayed for, so it's all good. It's all good. We got to see a little special teams work. Some of the guys kicking field goals and doing some stuff. Talk about the yeah. development of that particular part of the game. Um, well, it was nice to see um, Skyler and Jake compete. You know. And, uh, we're going to continue that that competition. See how it goes. Um, probably into fall in the off season, going into the fall. And it's good to have two quality kickers that have played in, um, in games, you know, and, and have won games. And so um, we'll see what happens with Skyler and with Jake to make. So see what happens. I, I I think that still that's still up for grabs, and the punting is something that we still need to look at, you know. And, um, and then I think uh, it, with the punt returns, we'll, we'll kind of look at that too. So I love Micah, and I love that he wants to keep trying, but um, our, our probably our starting punt returners are on our punt team at that time. And so people keep asking me, usually mostly family, why we kept doing that to Micah. And the thing is we traded him out because I love Micah, and I just wanted him to, to fight through it, you know. And it can be ugly, but that's, he's just got to find a way to get done, get it done. And so we put, we pulled him out, and then we kicked a regular traditional punt when he wasn't in there. So he was really thankful for that one. Loved it. Yeah, the rest of it were um, a rugby style that you know the ball moves a lot, and it was a little windy. You know, we had the wind at our back, and and so it's it's really difficult to catch those. If you haven't tried it, you should try just to see it. It's a good thing he had a face mask on when that hit him. In the face. Oh my gosh! But I love him. He, he's a great sport about it, but. Yeah, we, we, we kind of know who our punt returners are, kick returners. We're working on our punt and our kicking game still. and I think we have get candidates. It's just a matter of who's going to win the spot. Tyler Algier is the running back that we saw the most. When you watch film, what did you like from what you saw from him? He was a lot bigger than he was in the fall, and, and that that's credit to him and, and, the, and the, the strength room, that you know him working hard and working with our nutritionist, putting, building a lot of muscle mass. But um, he's aggressive. He's, he's running more patient now. It's crazy, just uh, you know the, the experience that he had playing those four games uh, really helped him settle in a little bit, be a little bit more patient, wait for his blocks and let him develop. And so he's a smarter runner now, and uh, Coach Stewart's done a great job with that position group. I, I like what I saw from him, and seeing if he now made some guys miss too, you know, and Morgan Piper's coming along, and we'll, we'll see how this thing rolls. But I feel really good with our offense. Uh, even with the guys that are gone, I, I like the receivers with Micah and with all jokes aside, Micah's doing a great job leading that group, and Neil Paul was coming along. He's bigger, and Dax Mill's starting to develop the talent show way, and there's a lot of guys stepping up Gunnar Romney, so it's going to be a lot of fun once we get Matt and Aleva and the whole group and Zach and the whole group back together. And defensively, we should be better when the, those guys get healthy too.